Hi, this is attorney Arda Beşkardeş from New York City. We're in the New York Harbor, beautiful sunset today. And today I'll talk to you about the creatives, artists, and the visa options of the artists in the United States. Unfortunately, the US immigration system was not designed with artists and creative professionals in mind. That creates lots of complications. Unfortunately, there are no perfect visas for artists. There are no entry-level visas too, so to speak of. So we try to put the artists in different categories. There are a couple of them designated for artists, but usually with extraordinary ability. So I'll talk to you about that. Uh, basically, the main employment visa in the United States, as you've seen in my other videos, is the H-1B visa. H-1B is usually not appropriate for artists. It may be appropriate for some professional artists, but not everybody, because it's what's called a specialty occupation visa. And basically, a specialty occupation is defined by the Immigration Service as a profession that requires at least a four-year bachelor's degree in a specific field. Obviously, if you're a painter, you know, fine artist, it's, it's good that you have the four-year degree, but many painters don't have it. Same goes for a film director. Same goes for a photographer. You can be a photographer with like a short course or through an apprenticeship. So because of this reason, usually we cannot obtain H-1 visas for many creative artists. Same goes for musicians. You don't need a four-year university degree to become a musician. Some do, some don't. So because of that, as a general rule, we usually cannot get H-1 visas unless the person is teaching or the person is an art director or some graphic designers. There are some art-related professions we can get H-1 visas for, but for everything else, we need to look at other types of visas. Uh, one main visa that we use for artists is an O-1B visa, B as in Bravo. O-1B visas are for outstanding ability or extraordinary ability. You have to prove that you're not an up-and-coming artist, but you're really established and that you have a very good reputation. And I have a separate video about the O-1B artists. And if you qualify for the O-1B, that's the best way to get a visa for an artist. And uh, if the O-1B doesn't work, uh, we can sometimes use the J-1 visa. And I have a separate section about the J-1 visas too. The J-1s are exchange visitors. And it started only for usually academia-related J-1s, like students, faculty, researchers. But now it's very wide. There are several subcategories under the J-1. One is the trainee, the other was an intern. A trainee is someone who recently finished school at least a year ago, or has like five years experience in a field of Endeavor. Uh, that's an 18-month visa, and we use it for artists all the time. It's, it's basically a glorified or extended apprenticeship or a training period. And in many instances, we are able to use it for creative professionals. Uh, the other one is the J-1 intern. Interns are for people who are currently studying in their home countries or abroad. They, it's not uh, people who are studying in the United States are not eligible for the J-1, unless they have a degree from back home that they can use. Uh, that's usually good for 12 months, and it's basically an internship visa. You can do it in the summers, or you can do it for 12 months, take a gap from your studies, or you can do it right after you graduate, within the first year of your graduation from your uh, program in your home country or in abroad. Like I said, it cannot be a U.S. degree that you're basing your J-1 internship on. Uh, we also use P visas. P visas are for athletes and artists but they're usually for bands that are coming to tour in the United States or artists that are coming to tour in the United States. We got the P1 category, which is for internationally recognized groups or musicians. And they are usually used for tours or recording. They're usually good for up to three years. Or there's the P3 classification, which is for culturally unique artists. So you have like a special folk artist or something from your home country, you may be able to use the P3. And we can bring their essential sport personnel under the S category, P1S, P3S, P2S. Uh, P2s are usually for athletes and P1s are, can be used for athletes as well. And I'll have a separate section on the P1 process as well. Um, there's also the Q classification, which is established cultural exchange programs. They're usually for festivals. I use it for festivals all the time. And you may come to the United States under the Q classification as an artist. 
and I will have a separate video about the Q classification as well. In a nutshell, there are not many options for the artists, but there are always solutions. Uh, the O1B obviously is a main contender. H1 in some instances may be able to work, but for the limitations of the H1, please watch the H1 video. Uh, the P visa may work, the J visa may work, and the Q visa may work. Thank you very much for listening to me, and you'll find more details about this visa classifications in our other videos.